Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Hashtag Trending with me, Ali Lezan. Today, we'll be looking back at the largest missile attack ever against the US. In January 2020 and six days after a US drone strike assassinated Iran's top anti-terror commander, Lieutenant General Qasem Soleimani, Iran retaliated by launching over a dozen missiles on Al-Assad military base in Iraq. Here's some of the never-before-seen aerial surveillance footage of the strike. It was the largest ballistic missile attack ever against American forces. God damn! Iran launched 16 missiles carrying warheads weighing more than 1,000 pounds at U.S. troops in Iraq. Stay right here, bro. Don't move. That story is told by the men and women who survived it. Well, words can't even describe the amount of energy that is released by these, these missiles. Back then, I clearly remember Trump doing all the things that Trump would normally do to downplay the severity of the attacks. And now, all of a sudden, it's become serious and traumatizing. Who should we believe? Anyways, here's Twitter's response to this story. The first tweet comes from Kargon of Assad. It reads, this is disgusting propaganda. This, is, this was right after the U.S. murdered a general. They were pushing for war. Exactly. And they got a taste of it for the first time, and something tells me they didn't like it. The next tweet comes from Real Prescott Bush. It reads, we've had, we've had them buried in sanctions for years and years, and then told them we could let them have some of their economy back if we get to watch them develop nuclear power. And then reneged that a couple years later, and then killed their highest ranking officer with a missile, and then expected a thank you note attached to a bouquet of flowers. Anyways, this next bit is of a Danish soldier who was in the American base when the missiles came raining down. Let's have a look. Plutselig så kommer det, jeg kalder det første lag, altså ni raketter af knap et tons sprængstof af gangen, vælter ned over os, og ja, det kan ikke beskrives. Det kan simpelthen ikke beskrives. Then again, what else did these soldiers expect to happen? Fire begets fire. That was a lesson learned the hard way. And as we Iranians like to say, don't play with a lion's tail. This next tweet comes from Omar Moore. He wrote, it's not hashtag Iran attacks, it's hashtag Iran responds. Get it right. I didn't see any hashtag Trump attacks when Trump murdered a general from Iran. And Trump attacked like the coward he always has been. Bone spur, punk. Exactly, Trump did cowardly order an airstrike on our top counterterrorism figure. And he got a smack in the face though. Remember that. This next tweet comes from Vegetarian Space Socialist. Got that war machine propaganda just in time for the Biden airstrikes. Good stuff, mainstream media. Now, this propaganda machine, honestly, I don't mind it. Let it chirp and grind because this clip that you're about to see more than anything shows the military might of Iran. Now, after the Iranian retaliatory strikes on the Al-Assad base, Trump got all cute again and said, all is well. But was it really? Let's have a look at this clip. There are people throwing up. Uh, everybody had headaches. I had a concussion for two weeks. What did it feel like? Someone hitting me over the head with a hammer over and over and over. Finally, you know, hours later, we realized we have a mass casualty event here of traumatic brain injury. This next tweet comes from Diplomacy140. It reads, the path chosen by the U.S. for itself and the region is characterized by insecurity, war and bloodshed. But Iran, as the unified voice arising from the heart of every child of this ancient and proud land, heralds peace and quiet for the region. Now, this next tweet comes from Julie Chesney. She wrote, I'm impressed by their accuracy in avoiding human life. Everyone should understand what that accuracy truly means. If you can hit your target all around people, that's intentional. Now, how about the orange pretender get some humility and sign that nuclear treaty back? Of course, he doesn't have the option any longer. But this is the message of it all. Iran's military power is a force to be reckoned with. Now let's hear this from a Marine general. This was an attack like no other. It was an attack certainly like nothing I've ever seen or experienced. What have you learned so far? Their missiles are accurate. And with that, we reached the end of today's episode. Let's get back to the studio, but that's been it for me. I'll see you all next time.